We're back to India, back to Gandhi, and there is one thing I forgot to do last time. When the League placed its state, when it did negotiate, I was supposed to put restraint up by one, which is helpful for me. Right, now we move on to the turn. The Raj is on first, and it's... Card 54, Hyderabad defends its independence. After India gained its independence, it was expected that each princely state would in turn join the new nation, as their former leaders renounced their power and privileges. One notable exception was the large state of Hyderabad. Indian troops invaded Hyderabad in 1948, resulting in the conquest and annexation of the state and the deaths of tens, perhaps hundreds, of thousands. Now, so the game does give us a peek into what's happening immediately after the victory of the Congress. Well, actually, it wasn't the victory of the Congress. According to the game, it was the vic victory of the League. A shared victory of the, vi of the League and the Congress. They uh, annexed Hyderabad. Right, so what is the Raj going to do? It's first on. And... Any two of spaces at active opposition. Funny that, but thanks to the revolutionaries, they aren't. Die roll less to equal number of available troops. Yeah, I, I think that's about right. Cubes exceed all active non-base adversaries in any spaces. No, not really. Deploy. Oh, great. When I was young, I had a twist for punching babies with me fist. And then I thought I would enlist and join the British Army. Oh, dear, a little, a little, a little, a looking for monkeys in the zoo. And if I had a place like you, I'd join the British Army. Delhi, Central India Agency, or Central Provinces, or Orissa. Operation Special Activity, done. Wait, that was the Raj. And what do I get to do here? Ooh, three princely states. Shift that space one level towards active opposition. I like this. I like this very much. I'm going to use the event. So we get... We're going to... Mysore. Active opposition in Gujarat. And... Uh, Rajputana, maybe? We could we could create an active opposition here, but there is this gorilla, so might not be the best idea. Oh. Why not? Card 19, attack on the Central Assembly in Delhi. In 1929, Batukeshwar Dutt and Bhagat Singh, card 21, threw leaflets and two bombs into the Central Legislative Assembly building in New Delhi to avenge the death of Lala Lajpat Rai, card 47. Both men were quickly arrested, put on trial and sentenced to life in prison. Alright, so what are they going to do? Revolutionaries are the first on and this is a critical event and this... This is what they're going to do. Add one unrest marker to two spaces with Raj control. Add one gorilla to each space. Well, they don't have any gorillas, but they are absolutely going to add unrest markers to spaces with Raj control. Let's see where. Uh, they are going to win, aren't they? And, would you know, the priority table actually tells us to... Well, first priority was a, a space with two pop, so it's Bihar. And the second priority, well, uh, there are no other two pop spaces with Raj control, so going through one pop spaces, Delhi is the space with the most gorillas. And Raj control. There aren't many of those. 
And so the card about uh, the Central Assembly in Delhi actually does place unrest in Delhi, which is nice. All right, th th this is not counted, so I get another three points. The revolutionaries are doing pretty well. Now the League. The League is going to do probably Operation and Special Activity because they can't really do anything else. And the activists equal or exceed cubes in any spaces without protest. Well... Yes, he's been goal. Can they negotiate to place a Muslim state? No. Can they infiltrate to replace one editor? Yes, they can. Okay, let's see what they do. Alright, it turns out that the very last bunch of sepoys uh, sitting in Punjab were actually secretly Muslim. And now they've joined their brothers. Nice. So there's infiltrate. One space. And are there any available protest markers? Nope. Die roll. No. Yes. Okay, this is this was pretty complicated. This is a negative, positive, demonstrate, because we negotiated. Well, let's see what they're going to demonstrate. So this is a rare sight. I think these are all the movements they're going to make. Just a shuffle from Punjab to United Provinces and from Bombay to Bombay Presidency. And the only reason they're moving in this... The only reason they're moving is because I've got activists here and they don't like it when my activists are... There's more of my activists than of theirs. Demonstrate priorities don't seem to tell them to move only to Muslim spaces. Card 58, Vallabh Bhai Patel agitates in Gujarat. Though he was raised in nearby Tela Telangana, Patel became associated with Gandhi's home state of Gujarat because of his critical leadership during the successful non-violent movement of 1928, Card 46. Patel became one of Gandhi's most trusted lieutenants and ultimately played several important roles in the government of India after independence. All right, and we get to be the first on this card. Is it a good event? Let's see. After three spaces, replace one gorilla or sepoy with one activist from available. Hmm, I could do this, but it's not actually going to do much. What is it? What is the other option for this card? In states up to restraint, remove one activist, place one gorilla, or shift the space to neutral. Hmm. Now I could, in theory reset a few pro-Raj states to neutral, like these three, but that's only loses, that only loses Raj like three points, it's not critical. So let's uh, do operation and special activity. Or maybe just operation, yeah, let, let's do just operation, I... I don't want uh, the Raj to do this, to me, because, well... I do have states at opposition. Can we still stir shit up? I think we can still stir shit up. Yes, let's do it. Let's do more of non-cooperation. We can do this in how many places? In three. So we're doing this here. Madras Presidency, Bombay Presidency, and... Oh, why not? United Provinces, there is no control there, and it's a two-pop area. I don't need much, just lots of victory points. And we're at 15. Just like that. Unfortunately, we need to find some other places to do our agitation now, because, I mean, these are, these are at their limit, so we'll need to start agitating somewhere else. Bihar, maybe. Anyway, I need to put restraint down by one. Unfortunately, we angered the Raj. And the Raj is now going to play... A simple limited operation. It's very important that I don't forget that this has to be a limited operation.
to be on spaces with cubes and active adversaries. You wish. Any underground guerrillas in support spaces. All of them. Troops in cities exceeds troops in provinces. Y yes. Oh, it's going to be a sweep. Yes, it's going to be sweep. Let's see, govern in two spaces. I'm doing this again. This is a special activity. Not supposed to do it. Okay, what is the operation? Sweep, use move priorities. Ooh, let's see when they're going to sweep. Well, it's probably going to be out of Delhi. Two pop, protest, fewest active adversaries. This has a protest and three active adversaries. It has a protest and four active adversaries. This has a protest and two active adversaries. Okay, it's going to be Bombay Presidency. Move a troop. And move... Can't exactly move the last uh, sepoy out of here, because that would lose control. But I can move this guy out of Hyderabad. And I could move this guy from Central India Agency, because, that, again, I'm not losing any control, they're just states. So what do we have here? Troop, four sepoys. These guys all flip, because the, they've been caught up in the sweep. One, two, three, four, five... Okay, five insurgent pieces. Five Raj pieces. There is no control yet. Can I source... Yes, I can source. I can source a guy from Central Provinces. Actually, I probably should have... No, I'm not going to move the last... Okay, yes. This is how we're doing this. This is how the Raj does it. The Raj finally gets a semblance of control. Unfortunately, this is a limited operation, so nothing else happens. We should probably be on the lookout for anything here. Ambedkar advocates for untouchables, card 63. B.R. Ambedkar was a lawyer and outspoken critic who actively sought to expand rights for untouchables. He made the Pune Act with Gandhi in 1932, card 64, that guaranteed representation for depressed classes. After independence, he became the leader of the Dalit movement, which saw half a million untouchables convert with Ambedkar to Buddhism, rather than continue to live as non-caste Hindus. Oh. I seem to have heard something about this particular struggle for untouchables being made into its own game, though I'm not sure what stage is it in, or even what kind of game it is. But it's a, it's a topic someone is uh, exploring, researching. Right, so, this is an event which starts with the League, and the League is going to do Operation and Special Activity, most likely. Any Muslim spaces eligible for non-cooperation? They can do this in Punjab, they can do it in West Bengal, and, well, that's it. Can they do it? Yes, they can do it. Which is kind of unfortunate. Or maybe it is fortunate? Let's see. Right, so, they're doing non-cooperation in Punjab and West Bengal. And... Uh, no other spaces. And this gives points both to us, and look at this. And... to the League. So close. Actually, no, I cannot win in the next campaign round. Still too early. The bots won't let me. Okay, so they've done a non-cooperation, and next they're going to do... Infiltrate a place in Muslim state. This is actually not something they can do at the moment, because that's only allowed during a crisis. There should be, like, a, a red... Caption, if during crisis. So at this point, it's going to be infiltrate to replace one adversary. And it's going to be in Punjab. Except there are no league pieces to replace, so... This guy just disappears, and these two bases are now unprotected. How nice. 
And that's the league turn. Now the revolutionaries are going to play... Are they going to play the event? Move up to three activists or guerrillas from out of play to available. Executing faction remains eligible. Ooh. That does sound pretty good. Except, um, these guys don't actually have any anyone in out of play. Hmm. So I guess we're doing a limited operation now. Three plus guerrillas in any spaces. United Provinces and Bombay Presidency, yes. Die roll less or equal number of available guerrillas. Let's see. Nope. One special activity, infiltrate to replace one adversary. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Two pop space with no unrest. Yeah, they're going to attack here. I need to. I don't need to activate any of them. They are all known to the Raj, so the Raj found them. The Raj may face the consequences. Let's see. Nope, they missed. Too bad. Ah, fine. This goes away, this goes back here. I shouldn't have done the special operation here because it's not allowed. This is a limited. This is a limited operation. So uh, this is the only thing the guerrillas do: attack in Bombay Presidency, and they fail. A fifty percent roll. Oh well. Already. Ah. Uh. Oh, I. Should have expected this. Uh, do I do the campaign round now? You know what? Um, I'm going to put the campaign round off until the next time. I'll start with it. Uh, yeah, this was a surprise, but yeah, this is how it sometimes happens. So this uh, last time we got a campaign round on the very last card when it was possible, and this time this is this is the very first card. Nice shuffling. At least, uh, at least there is no effect on the non-player Raj. Am I missing something? I think I should have... When I did my no-cooperation, and these guys did their non-cooperation, yeah, we actually should put restraint down here. It, it doesn't matter, but it's nice to know it's there. We're going to be reset there anyway uh, during the campaign round. Suddenly a very short campaign, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's keep it like this and next time do a proper campaign round with all the uh, shit happening At least we at least we haven't lost which is Haven't we lost let me check Now we haven't lost That's impressive Let me do a recount for revolutionaries two points two four six seven and five points for the bases. Yep, that's about right. Alright, next time, campaign round, the penultimate campaign round of the game, and after that, shit really hits the fan, because, uh, you see what this says here? If one, if both won crisis, it's going to be both won, and Raj may move a die roll of cubes from out of play to any spaces. So, there is a chance a bunch of these guys are just going to magically appear somewhere in India. It's not looking good. Oh, and of course, we'll, we'll be in crisis, so all those crisis abilities of every faction will come into play. I'm not looking forward to this. Or maybe I am.